Do you like my ponytail? I do, I do. My sideways ponytail. It's true, it's true. So there's this book meme called In My Mailbox, and I'll put a link below to all that stuff. I saw it on Chapter Chicks, and I know Jessica does a lot of In My Mailbox books, and so I thought I would do that. Because it's not just like a Borders haul or a Barnes & Noble haul, or I'm not just getting these from the same place. Yeah, the I will put a link, and it will explain all of it. And if you want to do one of these, cool. If you don't, okay, you're a loser, but I still love you. It's okay. Starting with As You Wish by Jackson Pierce. I was on Twitter one day and she was asking who wants one of these, a copy of this in paperback because it's recent, very, very recent that this came out in paperback and um, I won. And so she sent it to me and she sent me a nice little note on the inside. It's really cool. It says, Liz, find yourself. Jackson Pierce. She's also going to be at the Decatur Book Festival. It's hosted by the AJC, I think, and I will put links to that below too. So if you live in Atlanta and you want to go see lots of authors and go to cool things, David Lavathan's gonna be there as well, along with a whole slew of other amazing authors. The next book that I got is Alex Ryder Stormbreaker. It's the first in the series. This girl named Shauna has been talking about it on Twitter a lot, and so I was like, I should check this out. And plus, it seems like a really, like, action-packed novel type thing. It's a whole series. There's at least eight in the series, and I think a new one came out recently. I'm not sure. But it seems, like, really cool, really action-packed and all that kind of stuff from what I've read and... Uh, crazy. And today I went to this place called Book Nook, and it's in Druid Hills, and it's a pretty cool bookstore. They have a lot of older books, but also a lot of newer books and all this other kind of stuff. And so I checked it out with my brother, and I think it's pretty cool. They have a graphic novel section, and so I found these two. I picked up this. Uh, it's called New and Improved Squee, and this was the first graphic novel that I had ever read. In eighth grade, either my friend Michelle or Charlene had it. I don't remember who. And I read it at least like three times because they'd bring it on the bus and it'd just be like, oh, hey, look at this. This is really funny. And yes, yes, it's really funny and dark and crazy. In the front little guy, it says, buy me or I'll die. And something new I learned uh, this past week is that there are Doctor Who comic books and I'm excited because they're pretty cheap. But I think most comic books are pretty cheap. They're like $3.99, but I was like, hey, I'll just go for $7.99 for the annual and get all these colorful pages. Not that the other ones aren't colored, but um, yes, this looks pretty funny. As you see, it's the cute little David Tennant. Hope they let Matt Smith have some comics in there sometime or another. And the last book that I found is a book that I've been meaning to read for a long time. It's Perks of Being a Wallflower by Stephen Chbosky. And recently there has been a new Tumblr called And In This Moment and you should check it out. Something else in the doobly-doo. Just gonna change that up every time. Every time. Just gonna put links. Crazy stuff. And at the library today I picked up a lot of books that almost got sent back because I waited a long time to pick these up. But anyways, Captain Underpants, ah, and it's a collector's edition, and I don't know if you can see it, but it's one of those moving picture type things. Not, not like a movie, like a, like, like you move it and it does different things. I don't know if you can see that. I can't tell. One of my friends told me that I need to read the whole series and all that kind of stuff. Also in the Chamber of Secrets, I'm going to put a link of the cover that I did of the Captain Underpants song. I also got this Captain Underpants one. It's, uh, Captain Underpants and the Invasion of the Incredibly Naughty Cafeteria Ladies from outer space and the subsequent assault of the equally evil lunchroom zombie nerds, which sounds amazing. And this book, look at that. That looks well loved, if you can see that. Oh my gosh, it's like coming out of the side. That's what she said. I don't know why they do this out of order, but I have Scott Pilgrim number three instead of number one. Ugh, you're failing me. You're failing me, Georgia Pines. What are you doing with your life? I guess I'll just hold on to this till I get one and two. I don't know. Yes, heard a lot about this and heard a lot about the movie and so I thought I'd check out the series. I've been reading a lot of graphic novels lately, as you can tell. I like them. It's a nice change. It's a nice change from, you know, just text. Text. Walls and walls of text. Last but not least, I got Catching Fire by Suzanne Collins and I'm excited because I read the first one and I enjoyed it. But yes, I'm very excited about this and I'm pretty sure the series just improves from here, or to here on stuff. Because I know Mockingjay came out this week, and I want to read that as well. Yeah, this is the end. This is the end. I hope you check out all the stuff in the, the, that down there. Get my pants. 
and the doobly-doo, whatever else you want to call it. I hope you have a lovely day and that you keep reading and stay awesome and whatever else.